Hello everybody, welcome back, day 139. Today we had three games, three very difficult games. So I'm really looking forward to uh, seeing what Stockfish has to say about these games. Let's start with the first one. Actually, the first one was not so interesting because my opponent took a long time uh, to play each move. And yeah, basically I just... Yeah, just made a few moves and then the game ended like that time out um yeah not exactly sure what to think about this game so let's jump straight to the second one the second one is a game with uh, 84 percent accuracy two blunders uh, zero mistakes one in accuracy so okay we have still two blunders which is not exactly good uh, today I woke up early, so maybe the fact that I'm not exactly well rested, I'm a little bit tired, had an, uh, an impact on the, um, on the games. But with that being said, let's, let's, see, let's see where I, uh, where I made the mistakes. Um, so far so good. Here comes the first blunder. Okay, so that's the first blunder. I should have, I should have taken basically. It's, yeah, take there. Okay, let's say he takes. Mm, okay, so if he takes with the bishop, I take back. If he takes, if he takes with the pawn, just move the rooks in the center. Alrighty, but definitely not, not exchanging one piece. And I thought it was a good idea because I, I thought I could exchange some stuff, like this takes. And I go up, <laughs> it's another plant. So basically my whole idea was wrong. Take, which is was actually the best case scenario. Take, 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 take. And here comes the best. Um, yeah, I was, I was hoping that he takes with that rook. Then there is the fork. So, so yeah, the idea was good, but in order to, to get to this result, um, yeah, my opponent basically blundered a few times. And then from here, take the rook, take the pawn, go back. And you don't know what I've done. Um, he went down and I just, for whatever reason, I, I just didn't didn't connect, and so I went for yeah for other moves. Uh, check um, here I was <laughs> trying to push away the knight. Here I was thinking to uh, use the knight to take that pawn, and then I realized, wait a minute, I can just take the rook. So <laughs> I took the rook. And then my opponent uh, resigned. Oh man. Low battery, 8%. Let's try to make it to the end. So, so yeah, definitely um, a very funny situation for, I would say, uh, from move 20 to move 25. Yeah, that took me. It took me four four moves to realize that the rook was hanging. <laughs> so, yeah, what a game! What a game! <laughs> um, what can I say? Uh, really, just um, more at pay more attention to these these things. Yeah. Let's go to look at the uh, to take a look at the third game because this game was insane. 
I was losing badly. 88% accuracy, one blunder, five inaccuracies. So here's the game. I was playing with the white pieces. All right, there's an inaccuracy right there. Um, I should have pushed the pawn, the D pawn. Yeah, I was not exactly sure what to do. Okay, now for the next time, I know that I should push the D pawn. And then it's okay, not the best one, maybe. Here, I castle, which is okay. -ish. And then here, I should take. I went for that. And we decided to close the center. He decided to open the center. Um, best move is to take. Best move is to take with knight. Here is to go down. Ah, well, still the idea is to still be aligned. Well, it's calculating, but it looks like the idea is to be aligned here. Um, I went there, decided to take, ah, maybe I should have used the queen, take, yeah, hmm, yeah, because at least the, the knight was defending that, no, I didn't think about it, uh, here I went for that pawn, which is an inaccurate, I should have pushed the knight away, and here the best move is just to move the queen. Mm. Yeah, basically from here on, I just made my life harder. Take, take. And then we are at minus 2.8. He takes, I go for the queen take um uh, here i saw i saw it but for whatever reason i i just did not connect and uh, yeah so that was really uh, just uh i don't know me being tired i guess and, and i even moved away so <laughs> I don't know exactly what happened. Um, here he took, I took, um, went a little bit too far. Um, should have attacked the queen. Mm, decided to trade here. <laughs> we are at, we are at minus nine. Take, take. Rook is there, and yeah, basically I just saw one chance. Um, try to give some checks. Oops, he went here. Um, I went there, just to be on this diagonal, so that I could give a check. He was there, and that's that's pretty bad. Ah, uh, so, so I went with the rook, oops, rook, he decided to go straight up, which is pretty good for me, and so basically I went from, oh look at that, there is a, there is a check, I mean, there is a checkmate sequence. Is this checkmate sequence for me? Oh, no, that's for my opponent. So, so that means, that means the minus 12 is for black. 
still learning uh, how this thing works which means we went from losing the game to winning insane insane i i saw many things uh many moves that were were possible and would have stopped everything i mean just imagine just imagine this oh, i cannot just that and yeah then basically my rook is kind of i don't know there and uh, it would be very difficult to stop this too. So I don't know. I don't know. I was very lucky. This uh, is where I have a very lucky situation. Wow. <laughs> so yeah, definitely um, the lesson for today is uh, try uh, is to try to play when I am a little bit more well rested because otherwise <laughs> It's very, very tricky and I end up in these very bad situations. So yeah, what a day, what a day. I hope you enjoy this, uh, these games. I, I certainly did in the end. During the games, uh, not so much, but at the end, yeah, I was happy to, to have found a good way to survive. So as always, see you tomorrow for more chess.